Good morning. My name is Moonbi, and thank you for joining us. Today's top stories focus on building strong relationships among friends and families. The speakers we have here today are going to talk about various social issues and some solutions to these problems. And now to Lauren and Selena. Thank you, Moonbi. So today we're going to be talking about ways to get more meaningful gifts. Have you ever received a gift that just wasn't meaningful? Yes, a lot actually. Me too, all the time. And many Americans have the same issue. So next time, try thinking of more meaningful ways to express your love for your others and more creative ways. What do you mean by creative ways? Um, we can start off with giving, just having more creative ideas at giving gifts. For example, being um, more out of the heart, like a handmade gift or a handmade card. Um, also, you could try donating money in someone else's name or just uh, simplifying the holidays. So how would you think that it would benefit our community? It would benefit our community to just um, have people thinking of others other than just themselves. And instead of just giving you a card with money for your birthday, it comes from the heart. All right. And here's a clip to show more creative gifts. Well, to show our appreciation for your generosity, I'm going to let you select an object from that tree that you can take home with you. Free? We? Well, uh, may, may I make a suggestion? Okay. Take the turtle doves. I could have two? Well, two turtle doves. And I tell you what you do. You keep one, and you give the other one to a very special person. You see, turtle doves are a symbol of friendship and love. Now, as long as each of you have your turtle dove, you'll be friends forever. Wow, I never knew that. Both of you are just part of the song. They are, and, and, and for that very special reason. Thanks. Merry Christmas. That's a classic, right? So, as I said, more creative and meaningful gifts. I'm going to talk about the way that I found a solution for a creative gift. Um, one of my hobbies is pottery. So, I decided to give my mom um, one of my pots that I had made for Mother's Day. So, there you go. There's an idea for a creative gift. Just think of your hobby and come up with your own idea. And now here's Selena with Gang Violence. Thank you, Lauren. My problem. So, did you know that in our everyday lives, a woman is raped every 90 seconds in the United States? And one in five teen girls experience physical or sexual dating violence. Additionally, hundreds of thousands of kids are being picked on daily. So, why do you think this violence occurs? I think it might be the media and just the everyday life getting even told on people. So, do you think there's a solution to this? Yes, I think that mentoring would be a good solution. Mentoring, that's that good. Like, this is where mentoring comes handy. Research shows, according to Harvard University, that 46% of youth who are mentored are less likely to use drugs, and 52% are less likely to skip school, and additionally, one-third is less likely to hit someone, and they are more confident of their performance in school, and they get along with each other way better. Yeah, they have someone to look up to. Mm So that was a video about 
the multiple actions of violence that are taking place here in America. One of the leading causes is the lack of attention that children have. A lot of children have the need of attention and they do not get it because they have overworking parents or siblings that are also busy or sometimes they do not have siblings. And these are the children that get cut up and crowded after school programs and if they are not lucky, a lot of them are not offered after school programs or cannot pay for it. So these are the children that get in the outside world and they rely on gangs because they get attention from them and initiation can make them feel like they have a family and they consider they consider these gangs as their families and it's because this because of that that we have a high rate of gang violence here in America. And here's Claudia with more news. Hi guys, and today we'll be discussing how to choose alternatives to being glued to the screen. For children nowadays, it's really hard to stay off of electronics and computer screens, but we do have a solution for you today. There are several things that you can do to help your children diverge from that and see other sides of their childhood. Build social activities. Play board games or cards. Tell stories about your childhood to your kids. Enjoy just being together and working as a team. What are some things we need to remember? Have eye contact. Make eye contact. Look that person in the eye. Very good. Another thing. Smile. Smile. Right. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Tell them what your name is and you'll have made an instant new friend. Be productive in a positive manner and try education activities such as science experiments or go one day to the planetarium. Open now. Open. <laughs> Get your kids to actively participate in life by doing outside activities such as bike riding, playing with friends, or even shooting some basketball. <music> Encourage your kids to be creative, to sing out loud, to dance when no one's watching, especially these two. Today I don't feel like doing anything. Respectable sports fans, we all know the parent who's a little bit too loud, a little bit too boisterous, and animated on the sideline. Uh, I recently did a study um, conducted at youth soccer games where I watched the kids uh, interact with the parents during the game. Uh, what I found was the kids who happened to have parents that were a little too animated, a little too boisterous, a little too loud, uh, didn't perform as well and had less fun. Whereas the kids who uh, had parents that were laid back, relaxed, chill, mellow, uh, had a lot more fun and got a lot more out of the experience. And uh, the following is some footage to, to prove my point. Not now, Sam. Can you put me in? Later, later. Go grab some bitch. Go on, come on, come on! There we go, John Piero. Look good. Think you can mark him? Yeah, I can take him. JJ, Zach, everybody see what we gotta do with these guys? Four on one, three on another, right? We have to, we really have to smother. And with that, 
comes the end of our show. Um, that is today's news. Uh, thank you for joining us, and we really hope that you come back again and join us in tomorrow's segment. Have a good night.